Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Simone here. Today we have the last one of my bookshelf tour videos. This is the bottom shelf of my smallest bookshelf that I call my little bookshelf. Um, and this, like I say, is the very, very bottom shelf, the last books. I will link down below the playlist of all of my other bookshelf tours. So I have my big bookshelf and I have my small bookshelf and this is, like I say, my little bookshelf. And yes, I'm going to talk to you today about the books on this shelf. There are a lot more on this shelf that I have read, although there are still quite a few that I haven't. So let's get started and see what I've got. First up we have Black House by Stephen King and Peter Straub. I haven't actually read any Peter Straub books, but I have read um, multiple Stephen King, as you all know. Um, I don't know what this one's about, but when I picked this one up I thought it was um, a standalone, but it's actually the second book in, I think, the Talisman duology. It's also massive. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to read. And I love to read Stephen King in general, but I also really like it when he partners up with other authors. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to this one. Then we have The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. This is a book where I've actually seen the movie and read the book and I'm keeping this, generally the books on my shelf that I'm keeping because I've read is because I have the audiobook and I like to um, keep the books, the physical copies for that. So this one is about Hazel and Augustus who both meet at a cancer support group, both of them having um, had cancer and it's kind of about their lives together and the things that they meet and that and I really really enjoyed this book I think it's really beautifully written and I just think it has lots of humour in it and even though it's sort of quite a tragic book in in terms of the circumstances but yeah I really enjoyed this one and would definitely recommend it's definitely my probably my second favourite John Green I think Next up we have The Last Precinct by Patricia Cornwell. This is one of the Dr K Scarpetta series and as you all know from previous videos in this bookshelf tour series I love the K Scarpetta series and I'm trying to read them from the beginning all the way through. I don't know which number this one is but I'm really excited to pick it up when I do. If you don't know Dr K Scarpetta is, a, is the chief medical examiner for Virginia and yeah it's really really good. Definitely a series I would recommend. We then have City of Bones by Cassandra Clare which is the first book in the Mortal Instruments series. I'm keeping this one for a very different reason. Basically when myself and my fiance now got engaged he had this book and he handed it back to me because I bought, lent it to him and so there's just a little bit of something special with this book. Um, he didn't even read it because he didn't even like it but the point is it was there at the time of the engagement. <laughs> Next up I have Cross Kill by James Patterson. This is one of the book shots that James Patterson does which are basically um, books sometimes in his series or sometimes standalones but they always tend to be under 100 pages. This one is part of the Alex Cross series which is another series I'm trying to read from the beginning so I haven't got to this one yet but when I do it's really short. We then have The Shop on Blossom Street by Debbie McComber. I love Debbie McComber's writing and this is actually the first book in the uh, Blossom Street series. There's quite a lot and this basically follows a street where there are lots of different dif um, shops. There's like flowers uh, shops, there's all sorts and this kind of follows the people that live there and this particular one I believe follows four women um, who all meet on this particular street and I'm really, I love Debbie McComber's writing so I cannot wait to, to read this one. Next up we have The Widow by Fiona Barton. This is a thriller that I am really excited about. This talks about, um, you know on the TV or the news when you see the serial killer um, who's been convicted? Well this is about the woman who stands by him, his wife, and in this one this woman, Jean Taylor, is married to Glenn who is one of those people who ends up on the front page of the paper having committed a horrible atrocity and she, um, and then he dies and she's then left to pick up the pieces. And yeah, this one sounds really interesting and definitely one I'm looking forward to picking up. Next we have Flesh and Blood by Patricia Cornwell. Again, this one is from the K. Scarpetta series. Then we have The Racketeer by John Grisham. John Grisham is another one of my favourite um, like thriller crime courtroom, uh, courtroom drama kind of... Um, authors. He um, has written this book about a man who is a lawyer and he is in prison because the FBI set him up for a crime that he didn't know he was committing at the time and so he's tried all of the appeals and he's just there's no way he's going to get out of prison except then another judge turns up dead and he knows who did it and he thinks he might be able to use that um, to get out of prison basically and yes this sounds great so I can't wait to read another John Gresham book. We then have Unlucky 13 by James Patterson and Maxine Petro. I've definitely mentioned before that Maxine Petro is definitely my favourite person that collaborates with James Patterson in these books. 
This one is from the Women's Murder Club series, it's funnily enough, book number 13. And at the time of filming this, um, I am just about to start the first book in the series, um, First to Die, because you all voted for it in my TBR, You Pick My TBR, James Patterson edition. So yeah, looking forward to reading that one, and then hopefully eventually I'll be able to get to this one. <laughs> we then have A Legacy of Spies by John le Carre. I'm not really sure how I feel about this one, because I recently read the first book in this series, this is like number 15 or something, and this book particularly came in a chocolate and a books um, subscription box and I decided to pick up the first one because I didn't want to start the series halfway through although I do believe you can read this in any order and I didn't particularly like the first one so I might carry on with the series who knows but I'm going to keep this on my shelf for now just to see how I feel about it. Next up is The One by Kira Cass which is the third book in the selection series um, Originally, this is what this is the third one in the original dual, uh, the original trilogy. However, I do believe there's an additional trilogy now added on to the end of this. So, this is kind of the original series part three, and I really loved the first two books that I've read, which have been the Selection and then the Elite. So, definitely excited to read this one. We then have Summer at Shell Cottage by Lucy Diamond. I've read Lucy Diamond's other one of her other books before, and really enjoyed it. So, I'm looking forward to this one. This, I believe, is a chiclet type book, but this follows a lot of secrets, and um, I also think this is about a family who love spending time at this particular cottage um, for the summer and then the one of I know that one of the um, things is that the woman's husband has died and so she's trying to pick up the pieces and then there's lots of other like members of the family and yeah I'm really looking forward to reading this because I think Lucy Diamond did family dynamics really well in her other book that I read. Then we have The Nightingale Girls by Donna Douglas. This follows three um, different girls who all sign up to be trainee nurses at a um, London teaching hospital in 1934 and it follows that. I really enjoy reading about um, like the early 1900s and reading different books set in that time so this one sounds absolutely amazing to me. I cannot wait to read it like I'm actually buzzing. <laughs> then you'll all recognise this one. This is Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban by JK Rowling. I'm not going to try and explain this. This is the third book in the Harry Potter series. <laughs> And I love it. Then we have Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets by J.K. Rowling, which is the second book in the Harry Potter series. Again, I love it. You may ask yourself why all of my Harry Potter books are spaced across my shelves, and generally the really like lame answer to that is that they make me really happy and they make me smile, so I like to see them on different shelves so that every time I look at a shelf I get really excited about it. But that's probably quite a sad reason but that is the reason. <laughs> I then have Murder on the Orient Express by Agatha Christie. I have read a couple of Agatha Christie's books, one novel, one short stories, and I've not been massively overwhelmed by either of them, so I'm really hoping that I enjoy this one. I have seen this adaptation um, of it. I don't think it was this adaptation, yeah. Um, yeah, and I did really enjoy the adaptation, but we will see if I enjoy the book just as much. Then we have The Little Stranger by Sarah Waters, which is a book I'm really looking forward to reading because I've read The Night Watch by Sarah Waters and I thought it was amazing. Sarah Waters does, like, historical fiction really, really well, and this one I believe is a little bit creepy and a little bit, like, weird. This is supposed to be a book about a doctor who gets called to a family who live in this really like run down uh, big house and it's kind of about that and whether there's something that's sort of haunting them as well as their kind of weird old house. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. Like I said, I love a Sarah Waters and I can't wait to read another one of hers. Next up we have this gorgeous book. This is The Wonder by Emma Donoghue and um, this follows Lib who is a English nurse who goes to an impoverished Irish village um, because there has been stories that an 11 year old girl has not eaten in months but she appears to be completely thriving and so it is Lib's job to watch Anna and see what the truth is basically. I have really high hopes for this book. I haven't read Room by Emma Donoghue yet but it is definitely on my TBR. I've had it on my TBR for forever and I really want to read it but this sounds really good and this is an Irish book as well which I'm really excited to read so yeah definitely looking forward to this. Also this cover is gorgeous. Then we have The Power by Naomi Alderman which I believe um, won the Bailey's Women's Prize for Fiction and I'm really excited to read this one. I've heard really good things about it. This one follows um, the world where instead of men having the upper hand women do they have this power where with this just a flick of the wrist they can inflict, inflict horrible pain or death on the person opposite them and this sounds really interesting I can't wait to read this I think it's going to be a really great sort of gripping book so yeah I'm really looking forward to it then we have Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone by JK Rowling 
this one is the first book in the Harry Potter series and again I'm not going to try and explain it to you. <laughs> Last of all we have Private Gold by James Patterson with Jazzy McKenzie. This is the most recent book I think in the Private series. This one is again one of the book shots and this one follows um, Private Johannesburg so we're in South Africa and I don't know anything else about this. I have one more before this one to read um, and then I'm caught up with the series which is great and this is going to feel great to read this one and also it's really short so very much looking forward to it. So there you have it guys that is all of the books that are on all of my shelves now if you've watched this whole playlist. Thank you so much for watching. I've really enjoyed talking about all the books and it's definitely made me more excited to read some of the books on my shelves. Today um, the video shout out that I want to do is for a special friend to me and that is Kaz from the channel Cats and Camera. Kaz is a channel, uh, Kaz is someone who I have a lot of respect for. I think she's a wonderful person. She talks about such important books and I just think her channel is one of the most thought out channels that I watch. I absolutely adore her. I think she's wonderful and I would 100% recommend that you go and check out her channel if you haven't already. She's so wonderful and yeah I will link her below like I link everybody that I do on my shout outs for but yeah 100% go and check out Kaz's channel because she is so phenomenal. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I shall see you next time for another video. Bye guys! Mm -hmm.